Prayer is incredibly powerful. The bad news is that prayer can also be confusing. Because if you're anything like me, you may have seen God answer some prayers where you say, wow, God, you showed up and you showed off. And other times when you've prayed in a similar way, believing the same God, he didn't do what you thought he should do. And it can be confusing. Here's the key we need to understand about prayer. The purpose of prayer is not to get God to do our will. The purpose of prayer is to know God so that we can do his will. 1 John 5.14 says this, This is the confidence that we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we asked of him. Maybe as much as you want what you want, and as right as you think it is, maybe God has something different in his will, not just for you, but for the people around you. The story that illustrates this the most for me just happens to be on Thursday of Holy Week. Jesus and his disciples had just gathered for the Passover meal together, and then he invited some of them to go with him across the valley from the city of Jerusalem to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. Luke 22 says it like this. He walked away, about a stone's throw, and knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, please take this cup of suffering away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Then an angel from heaven appeared and strengthened him, and he prayed more fervently. And he was in such agony of spirit that his sweat fell to the ground like great drops of blood. Jesus knew what he was about to walk into. The agony he faced was going to not only be physical, but emotional and spiritual. And in this moment, we see him ask the Father if there was any other way to avoid the pain and suffering. In fact, Scripture says three times Jesus pleaded with God, Would you take this away? You've done miracles through me. I know you can do this. This is tormenting me. Please, God, I know you can. Take it away. This is Jesus, fully God. But in this moment, we see his humanity. His human nature, though perfect, still struggled with the need to accept the torture and shame that awaited him. And he prayed, and he begged, and he pleaded. And his motives were pure, his faith was strong, and God didn't do it. So I don't know what it is for you. God, we gotta have this house. I gotta have that job. I gotta marry this person. And so you pray and it doesn't happen. And in the moment, you may not understand. You may not like it. You may ask some very legitimate questions, which I believe God welcomes. Why didn't you answer my prayer? Sometimes God has something different. That begs the question, why bother praying? We have to understand this. The purpose of prayer is not to get God to do what we want. The purpose of prayer is to know God so that we can do His will.